Hello everyone and welcome back, my fellow astronauts and cosmonauts. I I lowered the volume on my thing a little bit. Or right, so I hope this is a little better. It's not gonna be it's gonna be different in the video though. I'm sorry about that. So uh this video's gonna be a little bit everywhere. I'm just skipping to the important conversations. And once we're done with the conversations, it's gonna be the exit out of this stupid church. Because I hate being in this monastery. And I was dreading this part of the whole game to be honest but we're finally done with it from this episode i promise and then i'm gonna make time between this game and Her hogwarts legacy so that way uh i'll be able to hopefully juggle two things it's gonna be a little hard though with my work schedule but i'll do my best anyways let's get right into the video now what have we here it looks like a book with the names of all the novices What? Lucas is a sodomite? What a weirdo. I think, it's, I think that means he's gay. Interesting. But I still don't know which one of them is pious. Check the snow I just... All right, so it's later at night. I went around and found some, some priests drinking in the basement. They invited me to drink with them as long as I don't tell anyone. Uh, I found a couple more of the torn pages. I found... I forgot what his name is, but he's, he's the guy that's holding all that stash. Uh, he's reading the Necronomicon. And what else? Some monks found me. I guess there wasn't ready for... German shit. I wasn't ready to read a book. Praise be to Christ, brother. Here's the book you wanted. Amazing. This really is it. Now I can use it to prepare a cure for our suffering abbot. Then I'll leave it in the library to make it seem as if Brother Librarian left it lying about. There'll be no investigation. It would be against his best interests, as he'll look like the one who wasn't taking proper care of the books. It will drive him mad. I didn't leave that book out, or did I? <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you in return? Heck yeah, there's something you can do for me. I'd be interested in finding out the background of the other novices. That's a strange wish you have. And the only ones who know everything about the novices are the abbot and the prior. They keep a record of every monk in the abbot's book. But you'll never get your hands on it. It's locked up in the prior study. Thanks. You've helped me immensely. Jokes on you, I've already oh, had access to it. About that book. Don't even think about breaking in to get it. I already broke in and got it. Ha uh -huh. ha. I don't even care about the election. In the night, I overheard the cicadas in the cellar. They were talking about you. Oh no. So it's still not over. This isn't a life in service of God. This is purgatory. Lucas, what's going on? What do you think? Just like you, I saw the cicadas drinking and playing hazard as if they were in a brothel. We'd be safer not to get mixed up in the affairs of our superior brethren. You're probably right. But I was naive and hoped I could fix things. I warned them if they didn't stop, I'd go and tell the prior. But instead of mending their ways, they vented their anger on me. You've picked the wrong people to make enemies of, Lucas, they told me. 
Now I can't even count how many days and nights I've spent locked up in solitary confinement for the tiniest offenses, or for no offense at all. Uh, fuck it. Is there something I can do to help? Would you? I think all it might take is for you to go and sit down with them, have a talk, set things straight, then they'd leave me alone. I'm afraid even this path leads nowhere. They'd probably start hounding you as well. Not really. I like to drink and, uh, and gamble. Well, not really. Gambling's kind of boring. I'm not afraid of them. Brother, I've killed worse the than them. I lack. May the grace of God be upon you. I'm also gonna, since I did read that he likes the company I've been in that book last night, I'm gonna talk to him about this. I've heard that you, um, for the obedience given to well, that you enjoy the company of men. For Is there any truth to it? What? How do you know that? I read it in the abbot's book. Then even what? The abbot's book is locked up in his chambers, and he'd never allow anyone to read it. Did you break in? But why? Just so you could dig something up on me? I was looking for something else, but I just happened to come across your... story. No matter what you were looking for, you crossed a line that shouldn't be crossed. But don't worry, I won't tell on you if you promise me the same. Yes, you can call me a sodomite, a sinner, a monster, the spawn of Satan. But tell me this, Gregor. Can I help the way I am? I tell you, it's a test of my faith. A test so daunting you can't even imagine it. Uh, literally, I don't give a shit that you're gay. No one cares. No one cares that anyone's gay. But this is 16th century Europe. God didn't create you with such thoughts, brother. The devils polluted your mind and led you astray. I hoped you were different from the others, that you'd understand, have compassion, but I was wrong. I swear to God, I've never lain with another man. I've never sinned. When my father wanted me to find a wife and start a family, I told him the truth, and he had me sent here. And in a way, I was glad. My guilt had been consuming me, and I knew in the monastery I'd find peace. The Lord sees my soul, and he knows it's pure. That's fine. Therefore, the brethren should be occupied at certain times in manual labor, and again at fixed hours in sacred weeks. To that end, we take the Yeah, I don't care that he's gay. Prescribed as follows. Uh, From Easter to the challenge of a pope. Brother? You were somewhere you shouldn't have been. Don't you know your place? I've had enough of this. You'll never put me in seclusion. You dare resist punishment? Let me remind you, brother, you will suffer the consequences of your deeds. I apologize. Now, show me what you have on you. I hate that whenever they seclude me, it starts the day all over. It, it's pretty frustrating. Actually, the dorms are here. What do you desire, Brother Greg? I heard you've been mistreating Novice Lucas. What's it to you? I want you to put an end to it and treat him like you should. Like a brother. Well, well. You've really grown a pair of angel's wings. You'd better be careful. Wings can get clipped. A few days rotting in solitary might remind you who's who around here. I couldn't care less who's around here. 
All I know is, there's me, a young man in his prime, and there's you, a decrepit old geezer who's about to get his face smashed in. Come now, brother. There's no need for such angry words. Nothing serious happened. We had a bit of a brotherly disagreement with Lucas, but that's water under the bridge. Please tell him everything's been forgiven and he's got nothing to fear from us. Satisfied? Thanks. I'm always glad when people can come to a civil agreement. Beware of Lucas. He might corrupt you. What do you mean? He's a sodomite, a sinner. He might try to get you into the habit. You're out of it. <laughs> I already knew that. I don't care about that. I just want you to stop bullying him. I'll decide for myself who I do and don't talk to. That explains why. From him, more is required. All right, everyone. So it took me forever, but I finally found the tenth page. I'm gonna give it to the librarian. See what happens, and then I might interrogate. Uh, now this. Would you like? I found the pages. I'm sitting here looking for this guy. I have all the pages of the torn up book. The art of love can go back to the library. Oh, brother, you can't even imagine how happy you've made me. Since you're clearly a true lover of books, I'll give you a reward I've never given another novice. I'll lend you the key to the cabinet containing forbidden books, and you can look at the peculiar things we've accumulated there. That cabinet's strictly off limits to novices, but you've earned my trust. I'm sure you'll recognize that those books contain nothing but dangerous gibberish, and there's a valuable lesson to be learned there. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I don't waste your time looking for torn pages when you already have access to the books. Got it. That was my lesson. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna talk to the other officer to see if they'll help me. I highly think it's Antonius, so I'm gonna talk to anyone that's not him. You would have to tell him about my mission. Ah, Gregor. There's something I should tell you. Something you won't be happy to hear. I'm here to find someone and, um, well, to do away with him. But listen, it's not murder. Not when it's a man like him. He's one of the brigands who burned down Neuhoff. He doesn't deserve to live. What's he doing here? And who are you? They call him Pius because he used to be a priest. When he found out a lot of people were after him, he hid away here. And as you can see, escaped suspicion. They sent me here to find him and bring him to justice. He's one of the novices. So we have one outlaw and one assassin in our midst. This place is a lot more exciting than I expected. Do you know who it is? Well, that's just it. I won't tell you more. And I'd like you to keep silent about this too. You're talking about killing in the monastery. I really should report it. Would you do that? I have a feeling you wouldn't. You're right. I'll keep it to myself. I've got problems enough of my own without involving myself in yours. And besides, I mean to be gone from here within a year, so why should I care what happens with the monastery? Thank you, Siskin. I appreciate it. There's something I should tell you, something secret. I'm looking for someone here in the monastery. You're looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice, at least until I find the man I'm looking for. Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't valid here. In the cloister, we're subject to divine law, the law of the church. I'm looking for a footpad who's hiding out here in the monastery. He had a hand in raising the Neuhoff farm. He's taken many lives. Aye, I heard something about that. But why are you telling me all this? Because you could help me. It has to be one of the other novices. That can't be. 
Have you told the prior? What are you going to do to this man once you find him? Talk to him. Then I'll see. Do you have any idea which of the novices could be the imposter I'm looking for? I think I might know. I wouldn't like to say something that isn't true. God forbid I should cause harm by my words, but this is something I'm sure of. Novice Antonius is lying to us. What makes you say that? He claims he's a merchant's son from Vlashen, and that he joined the order voluntarily. The thing is... Alright guys, I think I'm left with no other option than to confront Antonius and tell him about the quest. I really, really don't want to do that, but I think that's my only, my only chance. Uh, fuck out of my way. Where is he? You're not him. Where the hell is this? What troubles you? Alright guys, I don't think there's any other way to do this other than to confront him and tell him about my quest. I need to make a confession. I'm no priest, but tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't so he say. Won't make it to the autumn. And who are you to take such no, an interest? No. Peter has a strong constitution. He'll still be on this earth for many years to come. I wish all good health upon him, but I want change, and only a new abbot can bring that. Waiting pays off. There's no hurry. That's not important. Why are you telling me this anyway? What do you want from me? Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. Nor the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices. But still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. And you're right that it could be any one of them. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy worm. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous rat who'd do anything to get in someone's good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof since chills up my spine. I don't think it was him. But please, don't tell a soul what we've been talking about. Don't fret, my friend. Your secrets are locked inside my lips. Been creeping around in the corridor at night. Oh, I say creeping. He was stomping about like a bear. I'm just I know that you're pious. I know you're pious. The man I've been looking for. So you're finally sure? Tell me, Gregor, or Carl, or whatever your true name is. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, at least you're prepared to think and not just play bloodhound for a pack of nobodies. And I'm glad you have your doubts. I don't want to be like the people I'm looking for. If I have to kill, it should be for a reason, not because I enjoy it. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us, but we don't have to let them use us. So you missed it. Forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit and I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen, but I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit, but I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over, but then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace, and no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. Abbot Peter's health is deteriorating. They say he won't make it to the autumn. No, no. Peter has a strong constitution. He'll still You're right. be on this earth for many years to come. 
But the people sure who sent me will find you. out if I don't kill but you. I want change, they won't if we're Adam clever Adam. about it. No one has to die. No Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. All right, let's do that. I don't feel like killing anyone. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery and some blood to make the tracks. Oh, cool. And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it. All the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day, take it before anyone notices Someone it's really even come. That You're right. It's stunk like a wine barrel in there. And what do I need the keys there. to the monastery for? It's a mystery. How else will we but get out? That'll be soon this place is practically a prison. The Getting the keys won't be easy. In the morning. I know. Soon get but Brother there. Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. If you know how to use them, They'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. He carries them with him at all times. I already got him. But needs must. What are you going to do? I need to get ready for a long journey. Prepare supplies. Get some normal clothing somehow. That sort of thing. You can escape in that habit, but I need to vanish as fast as I can. All right, that's everything I need to know. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor, thank you. Don't thank me yet. There's something about a list somewhere. Okay. All right, cool. I got the blood. And from the fourth hour until about. <laughs> No, we gotta wait for Antonius or whatever his name is. Or if anyone... <laughs> what would you like? I have everything we need for the escape. What the hell is un? Oh, someone forgot the coding or something. Show me. No, no, you don't. <laughs> I have every Excellent. Straight out of Vespers, we'll meet in the dormitory. We'll have to get it all done before the monks have finished dinner. What exactly is your plan? And why can't we do it at night? We're going to prepare a little riddle they'll never solve. And why at mealtime? Because we need the dormitory as well as the church to be empty. Then at night we'll escape. Do you follow? Take everything with you and don't forget the keys. Good. Once evening mass ends, I'll be in the dormitory. You're not getting that dagger back. That's mine. All right, guys, let's go meet Pius real quick. I know this has probably been a crazy long episode, and I apologize for that. I'm just, I wanted to do this all in like one section. Get it over with. Fuck are you, Pius? Praise be to God. For a moment there, I was worried you weren't coming. Give me that blood. This is the exact spot where you pushed me off the gallery. Ah. 
I don't think that was enough blood, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to let this guy get away. I'm definitely going to try to bring him to the bailiff. I didn't feel comfortable murdering him either. I just have to beat his ass and then take take the dice. And then maybe get him to the bailiff. And then we'll end the video here and we'll, uh... We'll end the video there and then go to, uh... And here's where you dragged my lifeless body. I don't understand how I'm dragging a life. I don't see any trail or nothing. It's totally just false. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. Yeah, you're not going nowhere, dude. I'm taking you to the bailiff. Well, I can't just let you leave. You're a criminal. What are you on about? Did you really help me escape just to portray me? I'm truly sorry. Yup. But you were there at the Neuhoff massacre, and you're a valuable witness. I'm taking you to the bailiff. Gregor, you can't be serious. I thought I won't be taken anywhere. I'd rather die than lose my freedom. Sorry, right, but I'm super, super serial. Yeah! Ow. Ah, holy shit. Now, now. You look at all these my strength modifiers. Guess I don't need them. Oh, shit. Yeah, but. I need, to be able to, I need to be able to pick up his body. Oh, granted, I mean, no one's done this Jesus much damage Christ. to me in a while doing fist fights. I like to do a jab jab and then cross. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is one of the men who raised Neuhoff. He should be able to tell you something useful. But I need to ask a favor. I need you to keep him out of sight so his accomplices don't know he's been caught. Fine work. And I'll do as you say. I'll find a deep, dark hiding place where no one will hear me interrogating. And while we're at it, I'll have your things brought here. Wait here a while. All right. Uh, get out of my way, bailiff. Did I get it to die? All right, everyone. This episode's definitely been long enough as it is. We're going to end it here, and in the next episode, you see us. We'll be going all the way over back to Sasau and meeting with the bandits over here. Uh and hopefully we'll be able to get into their encampment and gain their trust and continue on with uh finding out who's been causing all the the issues here in this general region anyway you guys have been a terrific audience if you're enjoying this series please smash that like button hit, leave down a comment what you're enjoying about the series uh you guys have been terrific and hopefully i'm getting this series out soon because i definitely will be playing hogwarts legacy for you guys